Welcome in, Gov fans. It is Region 2 night here from the Marv as Game 1 has concluded. The final score stand, 48-47. Uh, what a game there as Bearden's Justin Nordine gets a three, trailing all the fourth quarter, really, the whole second half after taking a nine-point halftime lead. Justin Nordine hits a three at the buzzer as Bearden moves into the region championship game Thursday night, 7 o'clock, spot to be determined based on the winner of this game. If William Blunt wins, it'll be here versus Bearden. If Maryville wins, it'll be at Bearden uh, Thursday night. 7 o'clock will be that tip-off. Hopefully the Govs will be in action. We'll have that. Stan, these two teams now set to do battle for the third, uh, fourth time now, William Blunt and the Maryville Rebels. Yeah, Robbie, and you know, they've all been kind of different. The first game here, Blunt got behind in the second half and then came back and made it close, but Maryville won it. Uh, they had too big a lead. Second game, I felt like William Blunt played really well. Just didn't get the job done. Left the crack open. Maryville took advantage, got it to overtime. And then the last game, Robbie, William Blunt just dominated the second half, I felt like, against Maryville. Yeah, third quarter, I think it was tied, or maybe a three-point game. Two-point lead at halftime, yeah. and then just went on a great run there. Nine-point lead at the end of the third. Got it up to 19 or so there in the fourth, and then coasted in 13. for a 13-point yeah. win. Did the Govs. So a little bit of confidence for the Govs moving in that. And then the, uh, two nights later, they won the district championship against that Bearden team that just beat Oak Ridge. And that was a great game there. So uh, we got a final from uh, Region 1 as Morristown West beats Jeff County 52-42, I believe was the final there. We'll get some other early scores also. To other games in uh, the area tonight that we'll be trying to keep you guys informed on. Heritage at Red Bank, Clinton at Fulton, Gallenberg Pittman at Alcoa, Austin East and South Green should have done went final. So those are your 2A and 3A games. Uh, other games in 4A across the state. You got Ray County and Bradley, McMinn County, Walker Valley, Siegel and Cookville. That's a battle of two top 10 teams, Stan. Uh, tonight is elimination night, so a bunch of good games. So loser goes on there. Franklin and Independence, another battle of two top 10 teams. Hillsborough and Green Hill out there. Then out west, Cordova at Whitehaven. Whitehaven uh, is the lower seed, but it is their year to host the region. So they lost by five the first time against them. So advantage maybe there to Whitehaven out in Memphis tonight. Austin East did win, Robbie. Austin Green, East beat South, South Green. Green. So they'll, if Al Cole wins, I guess they'll be rematching against Austin East, right? Yeah, and Shane Cherry, he's an electrifying player. And uh, Heritage will have the 7:30 game uh, host uh, at, in Chattanooga Red Bank. So William Block comes in with a record of 24-9, Maryville 23-7. And one thing you'll see, Carter, as the Gov killer, Drew Eldridge, uh, broke his wrist or thumb in the William Blunt uh, district semifinal. Yeah, uh, and he, he tore us up in that semifinal, too. He had a lot of points early that really kept Maryville in the game. Right. So um, that's a big loss for them, but uh, they got Owensby back as well. Owensby suffering from a migraine that night. Yeah. So um, he's going to be looking to uh, bounce back. All of them really going to be looking to bounce back is they really got embarrassed on their own home court. Yes, they will. But those games mean nothing compared to this one. It's region semifinal night, the most intense night of the year. We'll take a one-minute break, come back with your starting lineups here from the Marv and Bill Wallace Court.
All right, back here with the Heartland Roofing pregame show. Region semifinals, the winner of this game will move on Thursday night against the Bearden Bulldogs. Loser's season is over. That was 48-47, Stan, in the first game, or 48? 48-47. Okay. And what's funny, I said first to 50 tonight in both games. Nobody got to 50 in that one. No, no that was a pretty ugly game, uh, at least in the first I, quarter. I thought Bearden played really well the first half, and then the third quarter they had a nine-point lead, as Robbie said. But they were only down one starting the fourth quarter, but Oak Ridge led the whole time. And then and the Oak Ridge hits a layup, Robbie, with 3.2. I thought it was off, but great call by – Coach Parrott. First for the visiting team. Here's your Lon Butler of Knoxville Rebels. starting lineups for the Maryville Rebels. Number two, Number Braden, two Braden Hazel Baker. Baker. Number four, Number four Alex, Alex Aker. Number 11 will get the start, the sophomore Lucas Robertson. Number 22, Eli Owensby. And number 23, district co MVP, Jonathan Woodley. Robbie, what that? That loss of Eldridge really does is shortens Merrill's bench. Right. It was already down to yeah. seven or eight. Now it's probably and just down to six or seven. Three. I, I suspect like Thompson will play a little bit Will Jones. Yeah, Thompson, Will Jones, probably as deep as – and Garmin will get – yeah. 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 Starters for your guys. 24-7 and seven record. Senior Brett Cortez. Senior, number four, Trevor Scarlett. Number one, Jackson Dabrowski, the sophomore. Number 11, Grady Robertson. And K-Dog, number 20, Caden Wendell. Staying his stat line the other night against Central. 34 points, 19 boards, five steals, five blocks, five assists. I mean, video just, game numbers, Rob. It yeah. just continues to amaze you. I mean, right. you know, you've seen it. We've seen it year. And, you know, it's just he adds more stats to it. 19 rebounds, unbelievable. Head referee tonight, Kyle Barnes, throws it up. Controlled by the Rebels in their black uniforms. It'll be Woodley against the William Bunce man-to-man -man defense. Robertson takes it left side, picks up his dribble, cut off nicely. Here's Aker looking to pass way outside his range near the three-point line. Now Robertson right in front of the William Lutz student section. Guarded by Robertson, brother on brother. Lucas turns, can't get it in. He'll throw it out to Woodley. So we played 30 seconds. Maryville resets. Left side. Now back up top to Jonathan. Tried to deny Hazel Baker. He'll turn the corner, pull up jumper for him. Strong, rebound, tipped out. And Robertson, he's all over the glass. Lucas Robertson. First rebound, that's what he does. That's the energy he brings to the Rebels. Well, Acker tipped it out and tipped it to him, so. Woodley, pull up tough two. No, get, when we don't go get the ball. But his out of bounds was Owensby. We're watching the ball. I guess expecting it to go out of bounds. Really good hustle there, just out of bounds. 7.05 left. Robertson into the front court. Man-to-man -man defense, I think. Inside. Throwing it away. And Robert and a incomplete pass by Cortez. That's a tough angle. I, yeah, I don't was. know what the angle he's going to throw a line drive pass there. Hazel Baker guarded by Dabrowski, left side. Now up top Woodley around the horn they go. Owensby inside to Aker. Aker outside his range. Inside pass Hazel Baker. Finds Owensby. Left around the horn they go. And, and Dabrowski just runs through Owensby. Yeah, Kyle Barnes all over that one. First Kyle foul Barnes of the game. Dabrowski first foul, of course. Teams first. On Jackson. A little side outbounds. There's oh. a st oh, oh, man. That's incidental contact, is it not? Yeah, they <laughs> he tripped him. Anytime somebody hits the ground, they're going to call it. So a quick two fouls for the Govs. Hazelbaker catching fire. Strong up top for the board is Grady. He will push it. The right hand bounce. Hand check by Woodley. 0-0, zero, zero, 6-11 left here, first quarter. Wendell being held by Owensby. 
There's a foul by Hazel Baker. They got him. Okay. Well, you got to call one of the two guys. Luckily, they do. So that'll send Robertson to the line for two. He tried to duck on him. Robertson, free throw, good. William Blunt strikes first, one to nothing. Robertson makes them both. Two nothing goes, 6.03 left. Here comes Woodley into the front court. Little dribble handoff to Hazel Baker. Left side, Owensby. Aker sets a screen for Woodley. They get it to Woodley. Robertson is going to attack Scarlett. Spin, shot, nope, picks it to the corner. Woodley's wide open. How do you leave him and a push on Aker? His first, team second, so we're even at fouls, two to two. Man to man for the Rebels, denying Wendell will be Owensby. Robertson gets the switch, dribble handoff. Cortez guarded by Aker way outside, picks up his dribble, and then throws it over to Wendell. Catches it, one handed shot, no good. Block boards it, missed the bunny. And then Robertson gets his second rebound, and he's off to the races. Looks left side to Aker. Five minutes to play. First quarter, it's two to nothing, William Blunt. Woodley turns the corner on, but he missed the layup. Aker tipped it, no good. Rebound Wendell. Right side to Robertson. Not very good numbers here, so we'll reset. Reset. Run your offense. Left side to Trevor. No. Pump fakes the three. Now right side to Dabrowski. Get the look you want. Don't need to force anything. Owensby goes. Does a good job of getting over the screen. Robertson backs his man down. Tough two there. A little bit of a little bit of a tough shot there. But two feet in the paint for Grady. We like that. Robertson double dribbles. Yeah, what in the world? Wow. And he nails a two to knot it up. How can you do that? With three veteran officials watching. There's a hole by Owens. Be his, that's his first team third. Of course, they've spread them out, Robbie, the three fouls. But one thing Maribel can't do is get in foul trouble because of the shortened bench with the Eldridge, the loss right. of Eldridge. Because Robertson's really their sixth guy. Dabrowski will try to attack Robertson. Cut off nicely, finds Cortez, who will reset. Hands to Robertson. Left side, Trevor. Nope. Inside to Brett. Brett. Now to Trevor. Top of the key three. He's fouled by Hazel Baker, his second. Yeah, got the shooter. So that'll send Scarlett to the line for a chance at three. Hazel Baker, second. That's big. Free throw's good. It's, yeah, I think Brett might have got away with one there. Brett pushed him into the shooter, pushed Hazel Baker. Smart play. Scarlett hits the first two. Is it? Only if you get away with it. Well, yeah. Because <laughs> it would have been Brett's, Brett's second. Yeah, it would have been Brett's second. Hodge checks in for Dabrowski here. All three are good from Scarlett. Gubbs lead five to two and haven't made a field goal. I like to see that shoot that, continue shooting that. Free throw, Robbie, that was shot the other night, that percentage against Central. Yeah. We're five for five already tonight. Owensby turns the corner, shot short, rebound, Cortez. He will bring it left side to Robertson, gets to the middle of the court, cut off by Woodley. 3.15 to play, first quarter, five to two Govs. Robertson turns the corner, kicks to Cortez. His kicks it to Nick. Nick doesn't shoot, pump fakes it. No reset with Cortez. Man to man the whole way. Pretty much inside pass stolen away. Can't make it that far. 
That's to do the law. Owensby's going to get a corner three. Don't leave him. Lucky there is it's no good. Scarlett has it. They look to get it to the high post to Cortez. Back to Scarlett. Now to Nick. Reset. Step back, don't shoot. So he'll pass. Robertson doesn't shoot it either. Now he'll he shoot will. that one. No good. Tipped up. No. Robertson boards it for Maribel. Five to two. Here comes Woodley into the front court. Attacking the rim. We'll get all the way in. Kick it out top. Owensby hesitation. Spins in the paint. Tough two. Good. Timeout. Maribel. We'll take a 30 second breather. It's five to four. Two minutes to play, William Love. Led pretty much the whole way. Five to four here with two minutes to play. Hodge has it. It's the man-to-man -man as Will Jones has checked in for Maryville. See the first bench player? Yes. And Dabrowski in for Scarlett. Cortez comes off the screen, finds Hodge. Crosses over on Will Jones. Passes it to Cortez. Shot up. No good. And Dabrowski needs to be careful. He's got one. Owensby has Hodge on him. Reverses the inside pass to Will Jones. Jones picks up his dribble. Throws it out. That's freshman Will Jones. Don't play like a freshman. No. Not on the football field either. Yeah. That's a two-point bucket for Robertson. Well, they were going to give him three. Unless I looked at it wrong. I thought he stepped on the blue line. Well, luckily it wasn't anywhere close. Dribble handoff, Dabrowski. Gets inside, finds Cortez. Cortez just being the safety valve. Might need a, might need a Lucas Henson look, you know, Stan? He can bust that top of the key three. As you see how far they're sloughed off and helping. Wendell posted on the right side. Now Hodge, clean look for three. Bottom! Big, big three ball. First made field goal for the Govs. Puts him up four. 15 seconds. Owensby left side, guarded by Dabrowski. They've got a size advantage, but don't go inside. Eight seconds, reverse it out top six. Robertson now five with right, right side. It is Woodley. Three seconds, two deep three. No good at the buzzer. Your score at the end of one. William Blunt eight. The Rebels four. We'll take a 60 second break.
We say six or yeah. six. Morristown East all over Sevier County, 17-6 early. They are the favorite up there is Morristown East. William Blunt did play Morristown East earlier this year and a 15-point win here at the Marv, but it was closer than that. Yeah, it's a lot closer game. I think they had some guys foul out. Cortez has it. They got Robertson posted up. Need a better angle, though. And can't get it to him, and Jones pushes him out to the good. Good defense by Jones. Not letting him get under the block. Dabrowski's going to try to get all the way in. Shot up. We got a foul on Thompson, I believe. Yep. Wes Lambert does not like no, it. No, it's, no, it's on Garmin. I think it was a good call. And Coach Lambert. It was just light. It was just light. Getting on his big guy saying, you need to be straight up, young fella. The elder Coach Lambert. The elder, yeah. As Wes Lambert was getting on Kyle Barnes. Dabrowski knocks down the first free toss. He'll have one more. Blunt six for six from the strike. Strong on that one. One for two from the line. Nine to four is your score with 7.30 remaining in the half. Woodley. Oh, my. Double foul or? They're going to get Dabrowski. Dabrowski doesn't seem to be too happy with that one. He's going to the bench. I think he was going back on offense, guys. Expecting the call to be his second. That was a bad pass by Thompson just into the hands of Grady. Grady will lay it up, lay it in. 11 to 9, Govs lead by 7. Stares down the Maribel student section as he does so. Eli Elkins, the leader of that student section. The Tennessee State tight end commit. Sets something back to him. Garvin shot block, hit half block by window and rebounded by window. Over to Cortez, get into the front court. Dabrowski in the corner. Back up top is Hodge. Seven to play second quarter. Hodge turns the corner, gets up top. Cortez around the horn. Dabrowski will attack. And he traveled. Good call. He needs he, to slow that down. was smart play by Braden yep, uh, to off. pull the chair out from under him. He's coming out. With yep. Two the, fouls. Dabrowski was looking to post up hard like I you think, said, Rob. I, I believe he was still a little frustrated yeah. over the yeah. foul down Rob. there. And that's just a sophomore, you know, type play, trying to trying to get some revenge. Uh, because it looked like Hazelbecker and him were tied up, and he didn't think the foul was definitely going on him. Blunt zone. Two, three zone dispossession. Got to know where the shooter is. And they it's go inside, miss. No good, and Aker mistimed his jump. Rebounded by Kadol. Six and a half to play as Cortez will get it to... Nobody. Now he gets it to Robertson. Cut off nicely by Woodley. Tries to back him down. As, uh, oh, no. Get on the floor. Caden does. Timeout, William Blunt. Owensby, as Wendell tried to help him up, said, no, thank you, sir. Yeah. Still a little bad blood from those two. We'll take a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here as the Govs off to a pretty good start. Uh, still only two field goals, but a seven-point lead is Maryville with two field goals. Yeah, Robbie, I mean, it's a really a defensive struggle here. And, I mean, Maryville's done a great job on Caden Wendell in the half court. Yeah, absolutely. So you're going to have to try to get him something you know, in transition or something. Yeah, I really like to take the lid off the basket for him. If he can get one up, you'd like to think he's going to find space to get some more of. Or maybe find them, if you get a cheap one here with them falling asleep as they're... Still wiping up the perspiration. It'll be Hodge to trigger in underneath our own basket. Inside oh, right the window. There it is. Shot up, shot in. Yeah. Too easy, too deep. Good find by Nick. Good step, finish by Caden. Step to the right, cut back to the left. Easy two for Sea Dog. Back to man to man. Five, five, five. Left here in the second. Woodley left side, guarded by Scarlett. Switch the screen. He'll get it to Robo in the corner. Inside to Aker. Left hook up. That's too easy. Yeah. 
too deep and a nice move by Alex Ager. Yep, gotta yeah. let him catch that further out. Yeah. Very good point, Carter. Robertson comes off the screen from Cortez. Now Trevor up top. He'll look to Grady. Nope, to Cortez. Picks up his dribble. Hazel Baker's got two fouls. He's done a great job of not fouling, and he's played a lot of minutes here in the second quarter. Hodge, pull-up jumper. In and oh, out. Man, no that was good. a nice move. Yeah, it was. Henson set the check in here for the Govs at the next stop. Owensby picks up his dribble way outside. Now Woodley will turn the corner. Cut off by Cortez. It's going to be a foul on Nick Hodge. His first, team second. His first, team's second. So Henson will check in for Cortez. Give Cortez a breather, and hopefully Lucas will knock down one of them top of the key threes that Cortez is. They're leaving Cortez open. Right. But Henson, I don't know if they'll leave him open. They might leave him open for the first one. Well, he also is a better match in there against Aker. Well, I said that. He wasn't in. He got abused. Oh, too weak. Gotta go strong. Five point lead for the Gus. Four and a half to play. Robertson Here in the second held. quarter. Henson sets the screen. They will step a little bit out more on him. Now to Hodge. Nick should have shot it when he had a chance. Now to Robertson. It's fronted by Wendell's fronted by Owens. But now Wendell gets it. He's going to try to turn the corner on Owens. Be shot up. No good. I don't believe that. Uncharacteristic misses from Caden so far. Yeah, two that he's been very strong on. Now Owens. That's illegal screen. What are they calling? Four just hooked their whole guy. And box him out. Illegal screen. ripped his arm off. Maribel acts like it wasn't a foul. Oh, they got Lucas Robertson. I thought it was on uh, Woodley. Woodley. Yeah, it might have been the first hit. He went by Lucas. Yeah. Woodley thought he got it clean. No, he did. He got his arm. Thirteen to ten. Govs have led the whole way. Three forty-three left here in the opening half. Henson, corner three, air ball. And a long touchdown pass to Aker. He's working his pivot, can't get it. Now a tie shot up, good, 13-13. Woodley nails the corner three. Maribel's on a 9-0 run. Cortez set to check in, his breather's done. Yeah, not what we wanted from Henson, I was hoping. It hit those threes. Now Wendell, left side, will attack the baseline. Knocked from behind by Owens. Thirteen all, three minutes remaining here in the first half. Cortez with it in the corner. Three minutes to play. A low scoring affair. First to 50 will win. I'm not sure anybody will make it to 50 either, Robbie. Yeah, nobody did in the first game. Unless it goes overtime. Grady shot up. No good. Tipped up. Boards it. Blocked by Aker. Good job for the Rebels. Here they come. Here's o, uh, Hazel Baker. Lay it up. Lay it in. Maryville on 11 0 run. And they lead 15 13. 240 to play here in the half. And a steal by Robertson. In traffic, finds Aker. Don't let Hazel Baker get it up. He's going to get a layup. Timeout, Coach Wendell. 30 second. We'll take, a, we'll take a 30 second with him.
17-13, Rebels on a big run. 13-0 right now, Robbie. Hodge might have been double dribbled. Now to Cortez, man-to-man -man the whole way for the Rebels. This is how they beat us the first two times. And they're gonna stick with this game plan. Inside pass, Wendell, guarded by Robertson. He will kick it to Hodge. Needs to find a friend. Skip it. Now to Robertson. Aker. Really not calling that. Yeah, Aker had He grabbed me by the arm. Short. Grady sh shoots a third. So since Jake Hedrick jumped on to John G, <laughs> he's missed a couple down on his end. The assistant coach, Jake Hedrick. Hazel Baker, pull up, no good. Tipped up by Aker and rebounded by Robertson. Here come the Govs into the front court, over to Wendell, his first three ball. No good. Got his hand, didn't he? I don't know. I couldn't tell. Rebounded. Here comes the Rebels. One minute to play before halftime. All momentum by the Rebels. Woodley, left hand take. Shot up. No good. Rebound Cortez. Nearly stolen by Robertson. We need a bucket in a bad way. Trevor Scarlett, pump fake, three ball. No good. Backside board. Going to be taken out of the air by Woodley. He'll push the pace. Left hand dribble into the front court. Gets into the paint. Shot up. No good. Aker tipped it up. And it's a foul on Scarlett, I believe. No, oh, Cortez. They call it on Cortez. His second, team's fourth, so two shots for Aker. With 36.9 to go. Carter, if he misses this one, I'll give you Chick-fil-A, you know, like they do at the NBA. Oh, yeah. If you miss two free throws, the uh, opponents, you get Chick-fil-A. Chick I'll get you a Chick-fil-A sandwich if he misses this one. Uh, you're, not, you're going hungry tonight. Yeah, no sandwich for me. One for two there, 18 to 13, five-point lead. 30 seconds remaining. Goes likely to hold for one. I hope you're right, Carter. Wendell has it, outside to Cortez. No, nope, we Not shoot a Cortez shot three with 13 seconds. Not the shot you want. <laughs> now here comes Woodley, pull up jumper, good. I figured that was going in, I did. Your score at the half, Maribel 20. We have blood 13, we'll take a couple minute break, come back with stats with Stan.
Welcome into the Heartland Roofing Halftime Show. This is Dan Painter along with Rob Locks and Carter Bells. Halftime, what started out as a really good game for William Blunt, turned bad about midway through this quarter. William Blunt was up 13 to four. And with about four minutes and a half to go, and then Mar William Blunt did not score again. Maribel scored 16 straight, and they leaked 20 to 13 here at the Heartland Roofing Halftime Show, brought to you by Heartland of Terrific, of course. Give Nate a call for any free estimates, free inspections. Here's your first half scoring. That's with Sam, brought to you by Tim Tipton. Tim, an experienced realtor right here in Blount County, has been a longtime supporter of William Blount Athletics. Here's your scoring for William Blount. Brady Robertson leads the Governors with four points. Nick Hodge and Trevor Scarlett with three points each. Caden Wendell has two points. And Jackson Dabrowski a single point. That's only 13 points is not going to get it done. Over on the other side, Maryville's read by Alex Akerd with five points. Jonathan Woodley with five points. Braden Hazelmaker, Hazel Baker, excuse me, four points. Eli Owensby, four points. Luke Robertson, two points. That's only 20, but that's enough for a seven-point lead here at the half. 20 to 13 from, in favor of the Maribel Rebels. We'll take another two-minute break, and we'll be back with some scores of interest right here on Gov Nation Network.
area update. You're back at the halftime show, Heartland Roofing, brought to you by Heartland Roofing. We'll go right into some scores here, guys. Area update brought to you by Realty Resource Systems. Uh, let's see. Still waiting on a heritage score. Um, I've got the final. Fulton beat Clinton 82 to uh, 40, so Fulton looking like they're still going to roll on into the Whoever plays them will be steamrolled. At uh, halftime, Morristown East all over Sevier County, 34 to 15. Gatlinburg Pittman, um, I had that score. Alcoa was up 12 yep. to 4 early. 32 21, Alcoa over GP. Of course, the winner of that game will go on and play Austin East Thursday night. That and looks like all the scores. Of course, I've your got. score from earlier it was Morristown West beating Jefferson County, and then here in the Region Two semifinal, number one was Bearden. Robbie, I don't think I've ever seen Upper East Tennessee been swept like that in the first round of the region. Yeah, District One. District One. Yeah, Science Hill and Bennett. Or Science Hill has always made it into, and they just down here for DB. Science Hill is better this year than they were last year, but still didn't get it done. And uh, so it looked like it'd be a Morristown battle in the sectional. And so they're bearded and they're the winner of this game. We'll get one of those two teams. Well, let's see if we can get Dabrowski and Trevor going. And of course, we, we, we expect Caden to get it going, but foul troubles for Dabrowski in the first quarter and first half, so limited to him. High post is Aker, back cut, Hazel Baker. Now to Robertson, corner three, no good. Long rebound into the hands of Grady Robertson for William Blunt. He gets it, left side, or right side now. He goes back to Cortez, back to him. Top of the key, crosses over on Woodley. He's fouled. Oh, it out of bounds. Out of bounds. He just lost it out of bounds. Looked like it was a strip. I guess not. I don't think so. I think he just lost it. Inside the Acre. Acre up top, Woodley. Gets into the paint, pull up. He's fouled, by, foul. he's fouled by Trevor. Trevor's first, team's first in the second half. Two shots coming for Woodley, who is automatic from the strike. We found out in game number. Yeah, Grady's two. still trying to explain to Barnes that he didn't just dribble. The guy striped right across his arms. First one good by Woodley. Kyle Barnes, veteran official. He ain't going to buy that from Grady. William Blunt led by seven. Nine. Or nine, and now trail by seven. Now we got a now cheap one right here on, be on Lucas, Lucas Robertson. Robertson. His second. Yep. Team's first. Trevor will bring it up. Right side, Dabrowski. Dribble hand off Dabrowski. Will it turn? Get to the elbow. Short shot. Good. Good. Got the roll on that one. Big first basket. That's the first one we scored in a while, yeah. guys. 17 0 run. It broke He's over it. the back. Aker. What'd they call that on? They called that on Grady? Or, I don't know. I mean, it was so late. How was it? How was it? He said that it was on the layup taken. And then right. I thought Akerd was over the back. That's what he was about to call, but he, Just a called, late whistle. he called something on the attack yeah. by Owens. A couple late whistles in this it's game. It's so, so late, far. though, Robbie. It was already off the... Two for two from the line is Owensby. Might have been one of those where they let it go if it goes in. I don't... I know you're not supposed to do that, but a lot of times they will. Eight-point lead. Wendell off the curl. Step back three for him. Bottom! That was big. 18 to 23. Here that comes a Brady Rebels. second personal. Two on Grady, two on Lucas. So 
both the Robinson brothers with two fouls. Hazel Baker and Dabrowski going at it. They both have two. Inside eight, good lay it up. high in the world. Too deep, too deep. I don't know how you let him get down there, guys. Like he, I think Wendell was trying to go around for the poke around or something. An easy layup and the lead back to seven. I really think he's going to ask you to bring in Lipinski to help defensively on Aker. There could be a foul. No yeah, call. Really, really, really. It's the same call they just tried to get on Grady or on uh, Trevor. Owens the inside to Aker. Posted up. Now squares up. Kicks it out. Pull up jumper. Owens be bottom. That's a three ball. Ten point lead for the Rebels. The largest of the night. This is kind of where it was. The game, the home game. We have Trevor here. Yep. Cortez has traveled. Yeah, the game at William Blunt the first right time. There. Step back three, Dabrowski, no good. Tipped out. I don't know. He, I don't know what happened to Elkins Cortez, over there. Cortez and Elkins are. Uh, That's got to be a foul on Robertson jumping in. And he knocked it out of bounds. Wait, is it out of bounds off us? They called it on us. How could that be out of bounds on us? Robertson come running from the half line and landed on two guys. Something happened with... I think Cortez must have hit a, hit a wicked, wicked pick yeah. and wiped out a blindsided pick or something and blocked it. Jones has checked in. Just absolutely clocked out, uh, Owensby. But I don't know how that ball is not a foul on Robertson or out on yeah. Merrill. Good move by nice. Woodley. Hodge set to check in here for the Goves. There's a foul on Jones. He's holding. You can't do that. He's going to get Scarlet. It's Hodge. Second team foul on Maribel. Of course, that's just the first on Jones. Cortez will throw it to Grady. Grady's going to attack. It's three on Lucas. Lucas is going to get his third. You know that's been a backyard deal. So that's his third team's third. Right there, Rob. <laughs> Look at him. Lucas tries it. He said he's dipping his shoulder on me. Well, maybe if he takes the charge, he might get the call on Big yep. Bro. Three on Lucas. It's elimination game. Intensity high, 12 point deficit for the Govs. Grady hits the first. It's Grady's fifth point. Two for two from the line. Cuts the lead back down to 10 as Owensby will check in for Lucas Robertson. Lucas will go out with those three fouls. Four and a half remaining here in the third. Blunt in need of some stops. He dribbled out of bounds. It's William Blunt ball. It's a turnover. Really good hands there by Robertson. Get just enough on it. Robertson shoots a three. No good. Tipped out, and Hazel Baker runs it down. Didn't I don't step know. Step out of bounds, but it's going to be a turnover as Grady will attack the elbow. Shot up, shot good. Leads down to eight, four to play in the third. A little bit of momentum here for the Guzz, a 4 0 run. Woodley to Hazel Baker. No good. Rebounded Wendell. Here comes Grady into the front court. Gets a nope. Doesn't get to the ball screen. Uses it. He completely missed the grab. 
They called the jump ball, which was the right call, but it was the grab before that on the jersey that untucked Grady's jersey. Dabrowski will throw it to Wendell. Three ball. Bottom! Big three ball! 25 to 30. 7 0 run Govs. Down by five. Three and a half to play. Oh, nice move by Woodley. Gets to his spot. Short jumper air ball. Rebound Grady. Left side Dabrowski. Steps up. Will attack Hazel Baker. He fell down again as Hazel Baker pulls the chair from him. As Dabrowski twice is now expected to contact. And it's not there as Hazel Baker just slides away. Timeout by the Rebels. Good timeout here by Wes Lambert. We'll see how they respond and we'll take a 30 second break with them. I do have a halftime score from Red Bank. Red Bank 23, Heritage 20. Another low scoring game there too. That's how it is around the state right now. All low scoring games mostly. Garmin has checked in for Akers. Here's Woodley. Woodley. He pushed off with his elbow. And then he said, then you're just gonna let him get in his face? Yeah, he pushed off and then he- And then he started talking. He's got his arm on him, too. Under control, Jackson. Wendell going up for two. Foul on Jones. Jones or Garmin? It is Jones. His second. Foul's on Taylor Jones. That's his second. It's like, it's like they're just, I mean, just don't call one later, technical later, when we're talking back to them. With his ninth as soon as he hit that jumper, yeah. Hazel Baker just gets right in Dabrowski's face. They're going to call Cortez. Pushing the back. His third. So the lead will stay at four. Six. For the six. For six. Yeah, you're right. Six. It was seven at the half. Garmin has it. They're going to get Dabrowski he running just, over Hazel just, Baker this time. Yeah, you're going to have to get him out. Motion's too high. His third. Team's fourth. As Scarlett and Lipinski coming check in. in. So. He'll come in for Cortez. Ackard checks in. Here for the Rebels. So we've got more sled on the floor. Hit. 228 to go here in the quarter. William Blunt, four fouls in. Yeah, so. no, no fouls to give either way, so. Maryville will have it under their own basket, leading by six. Akert back in. William Blunt will go zone here. So William Blunt's got a couple guys with three fouls. Maryville's got Lucas Robertson with three. Oh, nice. Still by Hodge. Can he beat Woodley all the way? No foul call there. And he's out of bounds again. I don't know if he's out of bounds. Charge. There's an offensive foul. They're going to call a block. Out of control. Slavinsky did a great job slip, sliding over, get beating him to the spot. 
but the foul is called on Lipinski. And free throws for Jonathan. Good job of Hodge on the other end, attacking the glass there. No call. But they, they come on the other end and get a foul call. That one is rimmed out no good. Woodley has missed two free throws tonight. Gets that one, one for two from the line. 33-26, your new score. Need a big bucket. Robinson get it. gets it. Brady's starting to cook here in the fourth, the third quarter. Five-point lead. Lipinski's going to guard Woodley. That, yeah, that's not going to happen, guys. That's a brick. But Aker gets the board. Charge. They're not going to call it, guys. They're not going to call it. This is pitiful. And a body, no call. Trevor, three. Got it! it. Overcome it! Overcome it, Govs! Aker on the last two. Yes, Aker got the two. Woodley turns the corner, cut off. One twelve here. Woodley gets to his spot. Over to Aker. Going to shoot. Jones will. Jones gets to the elbow, picks up his dribble, now finds Aker. Reset to Braden. Hazel Baker stolen by Trevor. No foul there. Hazel Baker grabbed Lipinski by the ankles. Hodge needs to find Lipinski. He will. Lipinski kicks it to Grady. Three ball. Bottom! Lead down to one. No fouls to give either way. Oh, you got to be kidding me. On Kick the, the floor. floor. On the floor. God almighty. Two shots coming for Woodley. I mean, there's absolutely bodies everywhere. Well, I think that might have been better off, Robbie, because he was going to score anywhere. I, don't, I still don't like the foul call. If we're going to call it, be consistent. We're bumping both ways. You're right, Stan. Cortez checking back in for Lipinski. That's some good minutes there. Did Lipinski just high five the referee? Did he going out? Yes, as he held his hand. <laughs> One more for Jonathan. Good. Two-point lead for the Rebels. 43 seconds left. We'll try to hold for four shots here in the final 40 seconds. Yeah. They're not going to hold for one, I'll tell you that much. We know that. Grady's got the switch he likes. Step back three. Bottom! And the Ghosts take a lead. G-Rob! Robertson turned it on in this second half. 15 seconds to play. Woodley has it. Hazel Baker, pull up two, no good. Rebound at the buzzer, and the Govs will take a fourth quarter lead, 37-36. Don't go anywhere, eight minutes to play.
Eight minutes to play. Govs by one, 37-36. Big third quarter scoring barrage by the Govs and Grady Robertson. Yeah, and Caden had seven. Inside the acre. Left hand push off. Hodge is going to beat him to the ball. They're going to call They're a foul on Aker. How did he foul? Slid into him, pushed him out of bounds. Oh, okay. First, his second. I don't know how that's a foul, though. No. Grady had 12 points, Robbie, in the third quarter himself. And I was thinking, remember I said first to 50, but after that quarter. Yeah, it's 37-36, so I think they're going to get there now. I didn't think we had a chance at the half. Cortez, starters back in for the Govs, starters back in for the Rebels. Robertson. He's lot, feeling it. A lot of momentum. Yeah. Hodge will get a ball screen to Wendell. Pick and pop, maybe? No. Nope. This is switch up top. Cortez. He wants to send Grady through. Dribble handoff to Trevor. Trevor. Pump fakes. Now it's Tre uh, Cortez. Bottom! Big three by Brad Cortez. Four point lead for the Gus. Stay on Hazel Baker. Corner three for Robertson. That's a wall. He shot for his, his feet. feet. Yeah, he got away with the walk. Wow. Wow. Dang it. What are we watching? Not his feet. Hodge with it. Inside pass to Wendell. Lay it up, lay it in. Good find by BC. 42-38. Here comes Woodley into the front court. Right side, top of the key. Will be Hazel, oh. or uh, Owensby. Shot up and in by... Too deep. Nice catch and finish. Nice pass by Owensby. And a good finish by Aker. Fourth quarter the other night. Uh, Maryville and Powell were in a, a tight contested game and then Maryville went on a big run late in the fourth. Cortez pump fakes the three. He's fouled. Wendell boards it. Blocking we'll foul. It's about time they called something on the other end, guys. It is about time. Caden just forced him. Eli Owensby picks up his second. But did it... Did it <laughs> was that not a great... Offensive tip right there yeah. by uh, Cortez to keep it alive. Exactly. Is it Grady in there? have a towel, guys. Can we not, we've had to stop. Yeah, there's a towel behind the bench. But Cup and Kevin are down here talking. I was the towel boy in the first game. Yeah, I saw you out there, Robbie. Nobody else, I guess, wanted to take over. Thank you, Alan Hughes. Injured Alan Hughes went out and helped us. Got it out there. Wendell missed his last free throw. Makes this one. Gives the lead back to three. Does that one be bleeding? He is bleeding. Yep. So he's going to have to come out. Jones is going to check in for him. Almost he goes to war, guys. Yeah, the kid he does. is tough. It's tough. He could, he got a he got a, a hard lick from Cortez early, Robbie, in the game, and then right there. Uh -huh. Two for two from the line is Wendell. Two possession game. No, he just crossed over. He tried to get on the call that I don't think he did though, but he tried to get on the crossover. But Woodley never stepped out completely. Inside acre. Too deep. Oh. Kicks it. Now stay on Hazel Baker. Do not leave, Nick. Short shot. No good. Jones boards it for the Rebels. Don't know how he gets the board. Poked away by Wendell. Oh, but into the hands of Robertson for the Rebels. Tough luck. Back to back times, guys. Now the jump. That's got to be a jump. It's a foul. You... Okay. Cortez. That's Brett's fourth, guys. Does he know? Does Coach Wendell know? Four-point lead. 
Lipinski is going to come in. Oh, they're not going to get it there in time. No, no. They're going to get a lot of Baker. That's got to be just poor communication by the Govs. Zone defense giving up a Hazel Baker three on the end on the inbound play. We'll look back on that play later. No foul on Woodley, is it? He striped across the arm. Grady gets to the jumper, no good. And a rebound by Robertson. Good look. One point lead. Here comes the Rebels. Chance to take the lead. Woodley will attack. Lays it up. No, his shot is good. Back and forth we go here. Dabrowski and Lipinski set to check in here. Owensby set to check in for the Rebels. Hodge to Rob Robertson. Guarded by Robertson. Gets into the paint. Shot up. Shot. No good. Oh, man. He boards it, though, and scores it. G. Rob, give me two. 46-45. Here comes Woodley in the front. He's got Lucas up top. Back to Jonathan. Inside to Aker. Aker kicks it to Woodley. Back to Aker. The right hook. Good. Back and forth we go. Would you expect anything different? Absolutely not. Robertson will attack. Wendell boards it, scores it. One-handed board by Caden. After the Grady miss, tried to draw the foul on Aker. Here comes Woodley into the front court. Cut off by Cortez. Right back up, Cortez does have four. Don't foul. Now Robertson, three ball. Way off. And good tip there really by Trevor and Nick into the hands of Caden. Need a big bucket here. Trevor picks it up. Cortez inside. Rodham Wendell back to Cortez. Swing it or back to him. Wendell back and Woodley down. Over to Robertson. Uh, Robertson was out of bounds. Yeah, Lucas, yep. Lucas Robertson. Yeah, that's what I mean. And the subs have been trying to come in for a minute, finally get in after the dead ball. On the court will be Hodge, Dabrowski, Lipinski, Wendell, like, and Robertson. I like Lipinski coming in, try to get Ackard out of the lane. Woodley gets some kind of warning from John Garrett. Got to get it in. It's tipped by Robertson out of bounds. Not sure why Dabrowski ran back towards well, the ball. It was, a great, it, was... it was a great job to make sure he didn't touch it at least after realizing what he needed to do. We got a timeout here. Timeout, William Blunt. Timeout, William Blunt. We'll take one with him. We'll throw it to Dabrowski. Up top, Lipinski has it. Needs to find somebody. He will find Robertson. Foul count is two to one this quarter, so nobody in damage or real close to foul trouble. Everybody needs to get a layup or a shot by Caden or Grady here. Caden catching fire three. Oh, in and out. No good, but Hodge is going to board it. 
Oh, what a play by Lucas Robertson. Nick tried to throw it off of him. That ball is halfway down. Yeah. It would have been a four-point lead. Now Rebels have the ball with a chance to take the lead. Get him out, Max. Eight. Oh, oh, man, almost stolen by Hodge. Good job to get into the passing lane. Just couldn't handle it. And Cortez is going to check in with four fouls, guys. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'd left Max in there because I think Max can push Ackert out. Yeah, did a really good job of doing it that time. to pick up his fifth. Uh, go with the guy that's got you here. Yeah, I understand an offense when you go to offense, but... 30-second timeout. So now Maryville will have it side out, as they call a timeout. Is They got three left. Or? They got two left. Two and two? Yep. All right, we'll take it with them. remaining, Owens beat inbound. It'll be Woodley with it. Right side, Owens beat. He will throw it into Aker, kicks it up top, Woodley. Across the wing it is, out of the corner, Robertson. Inside, Owens beat. Back to the Hazel Baker, cut off, throws it over to Aker. And one. Cortez just fouled out. Scarlett is going to come in for him. Or excuse me, Lipinski is going to come in for him. Coach Lambert. Randy Lambert, that is. Coaching him up. Cortez fouls out with three points. But it was a big three back in the third, early fourth quarter, excuse me. We feel good. Free throw made. It'll be actually Henson coming in. For Lipinski, offense, defense, and substitutions here. As Maribel's going to pick up full court. And the Ghost trail by two, 50 to 48. One and a half to play. Outside it is Wendell with a high post is Henson. Henson goes to Hodge. Scarlet. Just tick down to one minute remaining. There's a foul on Owensby. Yeah, good foul. Nice he gambled shooting. on it. And it's only the third team foul. And his third. Out. Lipinski looked like he was set to check yeah, he's, in. He's going to be offense defense. It's offense yeah. defense. Yeah. So he... Trevor will get it to Henson. Corner three. No good. Rebound. Hazel Baker into the hands of Woodley. One minute to play. Got to press up. You got fouls to give. Got to be aggressive. Got to come get him. Can't let him dribble it out. He will throw it. Good foul there. Yeah. Nick Hodge, his second. Team's third. Now Lipinski will check in. Good look there in the corner three by Henson. Just didn't get it to go. Good look to possession before that for... Full time out there for the Rebels. We'll take it with a 46.8 to play. Maryville 50, William Blunt 48. We said first to 50 would win.
Back here, 46.8 seconds remaining in the game. Maryville with a two-point lead. Owensby throws it to Robertson. Foul by Grady, so one more to foul, one more to give. So Grady's third. So gonna try to deny Woodley and Owensby the ball. Throw it in the backcourt. Woodley gets it. They'll trap him. Almost got it. Now Owensby has it. Time ticking. Picks up his dribble. Now finds Robertson. Got to foul him. him. And Lipinski didn't foul. No foul him there. So 25.9 seconds. Let about an extra five or six go off. It'll be two shots for Robo. Lipinski's third. Hinson will set the check in. Good from the younger Robertson. Third more. point. We must got to get a quick two or the or a, or a clean three. Well, the problem is, Robbie, we've not got anything quick tonight. Credit Maryville's defense with that. Robertson, free throw, no good. Rebound, Henson. Over to Hodge, down by three. He's got Trevor in the corner. Lay it up, lay it in, timeout. So we'll have to do it. we got one timeout left. It's a full timeout here. Govs trail by one, 51-50, 19.4. If there is a jump ball, it'll be possession to William Blunt. We're going to try to deny hard, get a steal. If you don't, you got to probably got to foul once they get across the timeline. Try to get a 10 second call or a foul. Bonus for Maryville. Maryville has one foul to give. Yeah, Robbie right there, they just let him go for the two. Felt like Maribel did, but that's awful early. To, I mean, that's a smart play by Pitt. Yeah. To take what you got, you know, with 20 seconds to go, 19.4. William Woods, as you said, both teams have one timeout remaining. So Blunt can only stop it one more time. And Owensby can run the baseline. Yeah. Got yeah, to now Hazel Baker and Woodley again. Get it to Hazel Baker. He traveled. Nope. Nick Hodge with the foul. That's a quick foul, but. His third. But William Blunt's got a lot of guys. I'm going to make him give it up. Yeah. You only have one timeout. Yeah, you could go for the quick two one more time, guys. But if he hits both of these, assuming that he does. Dabrowski and Hint, or excuse me, Henson checked in, came right back out. So Dabrowski checks in. Got got the front of the rim, but gets the roll. Grady will give it to Wendell. Back to Grady, down by three. 15 on the clock. Grady gets it to Hodge in the corner. Pump fakes a three. One extra pass. Grady. He's found. No call. You're not watching the play. He's right in front of you, Kyle. Seven point nine. As Grady or Dabrowski picks up his fourth. And right here, Woodley could adios the governors for a long time. Gets the first. We'll have one more. Veteran referee watching the ball there, not the player getting ran out. Akerd landed on Grady. No call. Woodley misses. Got to go quickly. Six, five, four. Grady shot three. No good. Adios. And that'll do it. Your final score. 
Maribor. 54, William Lutton, 52. And the Rebels will be into the substate and into the region championship game Thursday night. Post game show brought to you by Heartland Roofing as William Blunt's season comes to an end on a 54-52 loss to Maryville. Be sure to give Nate a call for any of your um, roofing needs, free estimates, free inspections. Oh. Tough loss for the governors. We'll go into stats of stand. Brought to you by Tim Pippen Realty. Thank you for Tim all year. Tim's great realtor and sponsor William Blunt. William Blunt was led in scoring by Grady Robertson with 20 points, Caden Wendell 15 points, Trevor Scarlett added six, five from Nick Hodge, three each from Jackson Dabrowski and Brett Cortez. 52 points, Maryville had 54 points. They were led by 16 points from Alex Aker, 11 from Hazel Baker, and Owens be 13 from Woodley and three from Lucas Robertson. That's 54. Maryville wins at 54-52. William Blunt careers in for Katie, Caden Wendell, Grady Robertson. Great careers for them coming and, to close tonight. Yeah, arguably the two best uh, to play at William Blunt. Grady, uh, big way to go out. 20 points tonight for Grady, but yeah, all the seniors, Lucas um, Henson. You got Trevor Scarlett, Brett Cortez. Uh, great game tonight. He just just uh, fouled out a little too early for us. Um, came back to burn us. Uh, Nick Hodge transferred in December uh, or January. Uh, five points for him tonight. He gave great minutes in Brooks Bird and Allen Hughes. Uh, and then uh, last games William Blunt for the two foreign exchange students, Max Lipinski and Axel von Zbonsdorf. So. They'll call it a career here at William Blunt, too. So quite a lot uh, for Coach Wendell to reload and uh, bring up some young guys for next year. The William Blunt Govs finished 24-10 and 10 on this season, and they put us on a good ride. And Maryville moves to 24-7, and 7, and their season continues uh, with a really good chance of making it downstate uh, in the week of spring break. So if you had spring break plans that involved William Blunt basketball, you can now – make plans to go out of town or something. So that will uh, end the Gov season. Some other scores, I'll see if I can get a heritage update as they were in a neck and neck ball game. Uh, nope, nothing there. So your final scores tonight here from Region 1, William Blunt 54, or loser 54-52, and Morristown East up in Region 1 wins 52-42. Morristown East all over Sevier County. And then, of course, earlier, Bearden at the buzzer beats Oak Ridge. Two dandy of ball games here 
a two-point game and a one-point game. For Carter, Stan, Richard, Brad, Timothy, Lucas, the whole Gov Nation crew, thank you all for listening all year, and we'll see you on the Diamond.